The number one natural disaster in the U.S. is flooding, and hurricanes can trigger torrential rainfall. With Atlantic hurricane season underway and six hurricanes being predicted this year, homeowners and business owners alike need to be prepared. Joining me today to talk about the best way to protect your home is research scientist Dr. Philip Klotzbach and Lynn McChristian from the Insurance Information Institute. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Us here in Florida, we get a little nervous talking about hurricane season, but we need to talk about it and we need to be prepared. So what are your thoughts as we head into the season? Yeah, so the latest forecast from our group at CSU is for a slightly um, or basically near out normal hurricane season. Total of 14 storms. We already had Alberto back in May, so 13 additional storms. Of those 14, six becoming hurricanes and of those six, two becoming major category three to five hurricanes. Those are hurricanes with winds of 111 miles per hour or greater. That's a near average overall hurricane season, much less activity than what occurred last year where we ended up with 17 storms, 10 hurricanes, and a whopping six major hurricanes in the Atlantic Ocean. But like our meteorologists say here, it only takes one. We got scared definitely last year with Irma. So how can we make sure we are prepared, both our family and our homes? What advice do you have for us this morning? Well, the well, important thing to do is, is to start now when there's no weather threat to take a look at your insurance policy to make sure it's uh, giving you what you need to recover. So what you're looking for is to make sure you have enough coverage to rebuild. And in the Tampa Bay area, it's really important to take a look at that flood insurance protection. Just because you're not required to have flood insurance doesn't mean you don't need it. So how do you decide? Let's say you're not in a flood zone. What do you look at? What are those determining you know, factors to see if you should go ahead and add that? You know, it really is almost a no-brainer. You live in Tampa Bay, you have a flood risk. You need a flood insurance policy. So what that does is that means that you're fully protected. You don't want to you don't want to ignore the flood risk is real. What happens is we can have a weather system that sits over the area for a long time and drops a lot of rain. So by having a flood insurance policy with your homeowners insurance policy that's important protection. Another thing is you have a lot of people who rent. Renters need property insurance and they may need a flood policy too. So understand that the risks are real and because of the development that you've had in certain areas, that might heighten the flood risk. And it's interesting, I feel like with an insurance uh, specifically, I feel like we get these policies, we get these plans, we do our research a little bit that the front end get it, and then it just kind of goes unchecked for a couple of years. Maybe we still have the same policy that we did, you know, we haven't really done the research again. How important is that to do that? How often? Every six months, every year? Once a year, it's vital to take a look at that policy. You want to make sure it's keeping up with your needs. So your finances change, your personal risks might change, the flood zones and flood maps change. So having an annual conversation with your insurance company gives you that confidence that you can bounce back. So it's your money. You want to make sure that it's doing what you think it should be doing and you're properly protected. And now's the time to have that conversation. All right. Well, where can we have that conversation? Where would you send us uh, so we can get more information on this uh, really important topic? Oh, yes, we have a, a wealth of information, and it's all free. At the Insurance Information Institute, iii.org, it'll tell you what information you should ask your insurance company for your home, your business, to make sure your auto is protected. But it really will help you uh, prepare and to keep that top of mind now that we're just starting a hurricane season. We need all the reminders we can get. Thank you both so much. We appreciate your time this morning and let's hope there's no more storms. Let's hope they're all wrong. No offense. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, right. Thanks. I always say, too, it, doesn't, it only takes that one storm yeah, making landfall near you to make it an active season. All right. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank you.